Just landed at Springs Airfield. I flew in with a bush baby to come check out the Skyridge factory where they manufacture the bush cat. In the previous video I did my conversion training on the tail dragger bush cat at Johannesburg Flying Academy. So go check out that video if you haven't seen it yet. Something that has been on my to-do list for a while was to go have a look at the Skyridge factory. And when I met some of the Skyridge staff at a fly-in, they were just as excited about the idea of giving me a factory tour and telling me a little bit about the company and the Bushcat. Hello Yaku and welcome to Skyreach, the home of the Bushcat aircraft. So behind me we have the Bushcat aircraft. It is a bush aeroplane, very happy and at home in the African bush belt. It is a light sport aircraft. Empty weight is about 340 kilograms and our maximum all up weight is 600 kilograms. This aircraft is fun to fly. It is affordable. The purchase price is not exorbitant. The maintenance costs are very low. Yaku, you uh, did some training recently on the Bushcat and um, you were telling me how you felt it was so easy to fly. And yes, it is. It's extremely easy to fly. Okay, so this is the main assembly hangar. Uh, this is basically where all the aircraft ready to fly, RTFs. Uh, this is where they're born. This, this aircraft is about 90% complete. Um, it's waiting instrumentation essentially, panel and then ground run. After that, it'll go for a test flight, uh, two hours of test flying, and then it'll be stripped down and put into a 20 foot container. So the wings will be removed, the tail will be removed, and it gets put into a container and shipped to its destination country. Craft is at about 60%. Um, it'll be going off to the US. It's what's known as a part build, so its engine won't be mounted, and it will go off to the US and have its engine and instrumentation done in the US. Another bushcat that was parked in the hangar was one of the two being used for conservation operations in South Africa and is currently in for maintenance. More about that later in the video, but I've also been invited to go check out the anti-poaching operation in KwaZulu-Natal. Hopefully that realizes soon so I can share it with you. So to give you a brief history of the company, it started in the 1990s. In those days they manufactured trikes. And in the early 2000s, the Cheetah aircraft came about, which was then a three-axis type microlight. In 2010, the company changed ownership. And not only did we make a lot of changes within the company, but the aircraft underwent changes as well. So let's uh, talk about the changes in the company. Um, we decided to go global, and we appointed distributors in various countries, North America, Canada, mainland Europe, Poland, Australia, New Zealand and Namibia and then of course South Africa being the home base. The changes to the aircraft, uh, the first thing was we did a stronger wing um, that could have a much higher all-up weight capacity. So it went from uh, 560 kilograms to 600. The cabin inside is much wider. In fact, today it is probably the widest in its class. Very comfortable. We have some big fellas that uh, fly these aircraft and they are very comfortable with two people in the, in the cockpit. The other change that we did was we made some upgrades to the empennage and that made the aircraft a lot more stable in the lateral axis. Um, the project that tested all of, this, well, all of these changes was um, done at Oatsun with Tefasa, the Test Flight Association of South Africa. It was a two-year project and the aircraft was really put through its paces. Um, so much testing in so many different configurations. A lot of data and recording uh, was done over the two years. And this then made it possible for the Bushcat aircraft to be ASTM compliant with uh, the FAA in America. And, um, I can confidently, although I stand to be corrected, say that the Bushcat aircraft is probably the most tested aircraft in the light sport category worldwide. This is the assembly hangar um, where anything that needs to be cleaned or uh, deburred, any cables that are made up, any tubes that need bending, any assembled parts will be put together in this hangar. Um, once it's complete, the unit will be put onto a quality control table before it moves on to stores. See some sort of assembly that needs to take, take place. So it's, there's the tubes, so they've already, come, they've already gone through various stages of manufacture. They've been cut to size of the holes are there. All of the various components will be issued by the stores department. And 
the unit will be pre-assembled. So some of the parts that are issued in the kit are pre-assembled for the builder. There are two options available for the bush cats. There's a nose wheel or what we have here today, the tail dragger. Uh, you can have it built by the factory, which will take about six months to complete from placement of order. And the other option is a kit build where you can build yourself. It's a fun project, it's easy. 250 hours, no special skills, no special equipment or machinery needed. Kind of like a bolt on together, Meccano, giant Meccano set. Every single nut, bolt, washer down to the last bit is supplied in the kit form. You'll obviously get your kit build manual. So with our excellent build support, any queries, questions, we've got that covered. Videos available. Um, it's a fun project. It's not a job. It's something fun to do. Gentlemen. Okay, so this is the composites department um, where we manufacture the composites, all of the composite components for each aircraft from your doors, your main fairing, your door frames, your top cowling, bottom cowling, every single composite part on the aircraft is manufactured here. It's all hand laid up, um, obviously fiberglass and resin, uh, quality controlled, weights checked and manufactured all in-house. Ladies! Okay, welcome to our sewing department. Um, this is where the skins, obviously sometimes known as skins, or the sails are made. Um, obviously the customer gets to choose whatever colours they want within the five colours that we have. So they can choose their design of the aircraft. The ladies, we get the tri laminates in which we import from Germany. The ladies will then cut the actual material out from a template. And then what happens is it gets assembled. So the reinforcing gets put into place and we use industrial zigzag sewing machine, triple stitched. Uh, once the sale is complete, it'll go through quality control. So there's a surface and a fuselage that is almost ready for quality control. We also do seat belts in-house, dust covers, all the upholstery, backrests, seats, absolutely everything that goes into that aircraft is manufactured here. So welcome to stores. This is where it all happens. This is where all the components come together, where anything coming in comes in, where everything gets checked. There's various stages of manufacturing this hangar itself. We've got welding, we've got a laser cutting machine, our bending machine, workshop department, and then obviously our store's main storage area and kit packing facility. Uh, on these tables, this is what's known as uh, a kit format aircraft. So a customer's ordered a kit aircraft. So what you're seeing on the actual table, that's a full set of skins or sails for a particular aircraft. And if we move along, obviously the fuel tank and bits and pieces and components. So each and every, down to the last nut and washer, is barcoded and labeled. Everything in a section. It's been triple checked by three quality controllers and two kit packing checkers. So this is an entire aircraft if you look across the surface of the table. The complete composite parts for it for an aircraft. And the kit builder will receive a kit build assembly manual. Starts at section one, ends at section 131. Absolutely every single part and section will be accompanied by a kit packing list. And as I say, the actual component. Some of the components are pre-assembled. That's for instance the fuel support tube with its brackets that are pre-installed and its straps to hold the fuel tank down. So some of the components are already assembled all the way through. These have come through being done by our sewing department. The seating's done, the floorboards have been pre-assembled and obviously your controls, your flaps, ailerons, elevators, the actual framework is pre-done, the builder just needs to assemble and put on his skin. So all of this is basically one full aircraft, am I right? It's a complete aircraft, obviously minus firewall forward, so no engine, no instrumentation, but complete aircraft. Okay, so this is our workshop uh, facility. So we'll obviously import the tubing from wherever it comes from, but it's all imported in bulk. So it'll come through into the workshop department. Firstly, the tubes will be cut to size, whatever is required. Uh, then we'll go through various stages of manufacture. It will be drilled on specific jigs, whatever the case may be. Um, anything, frames that need to be bent, there's specific jigs for them. So this okay, is then. the quality control table. So after every single stage of manufacture, anything that is worked on will end up on the quality control table. Um, obviously, verniers, rulers, 
two quality controllers will check each and every component that comes out of whether it be workshop, whether it be from store, sub-assembly, whatever the case may be. It'll come onto a quality control table, be checked before it moves on to the next stage of manufacture or enters the stores. Hi, I'm Denise. I'm the parts divisions manager for Scourge Donkey Department. Uh, we do the laser cutting and the bending for the aviation for the bushcat uh, parts and also uh, some work for outside customers in the mining industry and in the engineering industry. Here we've got our 125 kilo, uh, uh, 125 ton bending machine and over on that side we've got our 3 kilowatt boat or laser cutting machine that can cut up to 16 mil on carbon steel. We have our own engineering department so it's headed up by Neil who is our chief aeronautical engineer. I'm the head of the engineering department here at Rainbow Scourge, uh, the manufacturers of the Bushcat, light sport aircraft. So basically, um, things like document control, making drawings, for example, this is one of our drawings for one of our parts, that's all sorted by the engineering department so that we make sure everything is up to standard and correctly done. We deal with uh, some of the foreign uh, certifying authorities as well as the local CAA to make sure that we can provide them the documentation needed to show that our airplane is uh, well designed, safe, can do all the things it's supposed to do and can hopefully go into other markets. AE is our handles all our build support and after sale service. One of the functions I provide here at the factory is actually uh, builder support for uh, buyers of our kit aircraft and uh, of course tackling a project like that, uh, building an aircraft which has to be safe and, and um, comfortable is a, is a big task and of course um, uh, good support is always very important to have so uh, we try to provide the best that we can of course uh, modern technology, uh, whatsapp, um, emails, videos, photographs, whatever, all available um, every single day to any builder who might have problems with parts uh, of the kit uh, a kit consisting of, I think it's over three and a half thousand parts. Uh, now and then problems cre uh, creep in, you might have an incorrect part or a shortage or whatever. Uh, we deal with that immediately. Or the builder might have a question on processes or uh, exactly how something should work. And uh, on both of those fronts like that, we try and uh, um, provide uh, builder support that um, builders can rely on. And uh, hopefully at the end of the day, um, the build project for all builders will be an, an exciting and satisfying experience rather than just a, a, a job to go through. I would like to give a great big shout out to our dedicated Bushcat YouTubers, uh, Bushcat Daryl and his partner Liz and Bushcat Tom and his lovely wife Sharon who we will be meeting later in the year. Yaka, I would like to talk a little bit about a great accomplishment of the Bushcat aircraft. There are two operational anti-poaching aircraft in our country, one in KwaZulu-Natal, one down in the Eastern Cape. Thank you guys for what you do for our country, for our animals, the rhinos, that my children and their children will be able to see rhinos and appreciate them in their natural wild habitat. The bushcat is particularly suited to this operation. It can fly low and slow, great for surveillance, great for tracking, um, not only do they use the aircraft for, for those roles, but also for the monitoring of the species. Um, again, done by those two outfits, which are non-profit, uh, non-government organizations. They rely solely on uh, sponsorships and donations. Um, if anybody would like to donate, please contact me. I will put you in touch with them. From Skyreach point of view, from our side, um, how we support them. Every aircraft that gets sold and every uh, future endeavor, new projects that are in the pipeline, but we will talk about that at another time. The donations will go to the upkeep and maintenance of their aircraft. Yoko, one of the great accomplishments of the Bushcat aircraft is in 2016, it did the Crete to Cape uh, vintage air rally. It went, uh, so firstly it was shipped to England and flew across mainland England to the island of Crete, just off Greece. From there they started the rally across the Mediterranean to Egypt, all the way down the east coast of Africa. And finally, six weeks later, they landed at Stellenbosch in the Cape. And the only problem that they had was a puncture. 
So what an accomplishment, what a capable aeroplane. The Bushcat seems to have no shortage of impressive accomplishments. Maybe my expectations were off, but I was quite surprised by the large amount of floor space the factory is actively using. And I was particularly impressed by the amount of time that goes purely into quality control. It surely gives buyers of both the kits and factory built aircraft not only peace of mind, but complete confidence in the product. Be sure to keep a lookout for an upcoming video of my visit to one of the conservation operations using the Bushcat.